Hi everybody. Okay, so I'm finally sitting down and putting together a little video for you guys in regards to transferring, transferring, <laughs> new day with the new tongue, uh, transferring over your patterns. So let's go down to my table here. All right. Yeah, okay, so one of the things in your pattern packet, you received the line drawings for your eggs here. Now, a suggestion I would have uh, anytime you get a pattern, make a couple copies of the line drawings because you can use these to practice also, off of. Like, per se, you can paint on top of these as samples, all right? So try to have two, three, whatever you need, and just have them aside. But for our tracing and transferring onto our eggs that we have here, I have trans tracing paper, so just any tracing paper that you can get at a good arts and crafts store. I'm going to flip this over here, and I've got my pattern here. And let's look at this first egg. So I'm just going to take the time and trace my pattern. And I can use a pen, of course, that was the pen that I used the other night that I didn't like. And because I took the pen that I did like with me, because, yes, that's how things work. So here's another pen. All right. So I'm just going to take my time and trace out my pattern here. Now, if you'll notice on my line drawings here, I don't have all the detail lines. I didn't draw in the stem lines for the flowers and the, all the little doodads, the teardrops and everything else. And the reason I didn't draw all of those in is because when we do this tracing, a lot of times what happens, and don't worry if it's not totally perfect, but a lot of times when we do this tracing, we end up drawing every single line that is on there. And when we do that and then transfer it over to our piece, it becomes very confusing as to what is what. So I try to keep it as simple as I can. It doesn't always work, but I, I do try. Now, little dotted lines. If you notice, I do have little dotted lines and that's kind of to show you where those colors combine on here. For example, on this blue here, and I don't want my thing to change here, you can see I have the blue that comes up this way and a blue for the S stroke here. And I'll have a little dotted line on here just to show where it merges. You don't necessarily have to draw that dotted line onto your pattern. So I'm just going to work my way around now, one of the things you can do as you do this here, okay, bounce around, is you can actually outline the shape of the piece that you're working on. For example, we're working on an egg, these nice little flat eggs here. So again, I'm just working my way around, tracing it all out. Okay, whoops, that is exactly what I did not want it to do. But sometimes it'll slip, so, you know, just line it back up again. It's okay. There we go. Come on, you. Get back on there. That's pretty close. So oh, I'm going to fudge around. Okay, that's good. So I'm going to just trace over the line around the exterior of this egg. Because I'll cut this piece of tracing paper out and I can use painter's tape to tape it to my egg here. Okay. Now it's up to you if you'd like to draw the little detail lines in here. Maybe you just want to put a, the dots in and not the whole line here, but the dots will kind of help you with your placement of your little detail lines that go around the exterior of your egg here okay all right here we go just right around here's my little hole for it okay I just check over it looks pretty good I've got most of this down so I'm going to going to take that off of there I can move this out of course
course, did I bring my egg over here? No, but I will go and get it. All right, so I'm going to take my scissors. Of course, this is my gigantic scissors that we normally use at Christmas time for cutting the uh, wrapping paper, which my daughter Celia loves these scissors. She pretends she's going, you know, just her sense of humor. She's not actually going to do that, thank God. I hope that gave you a chuckle. And I'm going to sneeze. Oh, hold the sneeze. Oh, okay, I think I got it. All right, let me come around here. All right, so this guy is all ready. Okay, so let me get my egg. So I have it ready because you'd think I'd have it sitting right next to me, waiting for me. But no, I left it over on my counter over here. Okay, so again, I gave you guys some Bristol board with the same background color. This is linen, a Joe Sonia color called linen. And that's all written down in your pattern packet. Okay, get rid of my extra here. Okay, so you can by all means put your pattern onto this little Bristol board too as practice. You can use a little painter's tape here and hold it one point there and usually one point here and just center it. So you can transfer it onto here and have an extra practice piece. We're going to put it on the egg though right now. So I'll take it off of here. And these are simply base coated with the same paint. And I use just an inch brush. And these boards are actually about 17 inches uh, by um, 11 inches. So I do a big board and then I, I trim them down to size. I'll share that in my class with you guys. All right, so I have my egg here. This has had a couple coats of paint on it. It comes in this natural form here. So I did the background paint on this. I would sand, background paint, sand, and then I actually have a coat of glaze medium on top of it. All right, so I'm going to place this on top here. And I'm going to use my painter's tape to lock it in place. All right. And I had a dog come and visit me. So I might have to stop here because somebody needs to go use the uh, outside restroom. So you're going to get a part two to this. So just hold tight.